The Ontario government and CUPE remain in a showdown just days from job action by education workers that would shut down hundreds of schools across the province. Ithil Musa is at the Ontario Legislature in Toronto following all of this for us. Ithil, thanks so much for joining us. Let's talk about where things stand this morning. Well, John uh, Cupy, uh, they say that they presented a counter offer uh, late last night uh, to the government, and now government officials are reviewing it. Now, the union didn't provide any details on what it's proposing, but what we do know is that the Ontario government has proposed legislation that would impose a contract on workers, and it would also ban them from uh, striking. Now, the major sticking point, of course, is money. The union is seeking an 11.7% annual salary increase for its workers. Now, many viewers uh, may think that's uh, an outstanding amount of money, but you know, the union says it's really to make up for years of stagnant pay. Just to give you sort of an idea, from 2012 to 2021, uh, the uh, annual salary of education workers uh, increased about 8.5%. And during that same time in Ontario, inflation rose uh, almost to 18%. So not really keeping up. Now, the government, for its part, is offering uh, the workers 2.5% for workers that are making less than $43,000 a year and an annual pay increase of 1.5% for those that are earning more. Now, QB workers say they're going to walk off the job if an agreement is not reached on Friday, and this is despite the Ontario government making its intention to use the notwithstanding clause um, to impose a contract and to ban striking. Hundreds of people actually gathered in Toronto yesterday to protest against the back-to-work legislation. Take a listen to what they had to say. It's necessary. I'm glad to see so many people come out. The public needs to know that our schools are in a constant day-to-day -day state of unsafe crisis. Parents do not realize how understaffed we are. Parents do not realize how many near misses they are. If, well, if the two sides can't come to an agreement by Friday, let's talk about what school boards are planning. Well, John, let me tell you, school boards are prepping across the province. In Toronto, in Ottawa, Hamilton, Waterloo, some of them are going to close if, uh, for in-person learning, rather, if, uh, you know, things uh, don't, if they, the two sides don't reach an agreement and a walkout actually happens. As are parents. Parents are also prepping for that possibility. CBC spoke to a few of them. Here's what they had to say about it. We still have to figure out how we're preparing. Uh, I'm very frustrated with the government, to be honest. And we're lucky to have employers who are supportive, but you know, I think we need to support the people who work in schools. It's, I think it's an unreasonable use of an extraordinary power. We support, uh, we support the workers. The workers have been very good uh, for my daughter, and I support them all the way. So there you have it right now, you know, parents and school boards preparing for the possibility that, you know, thousands of education workers could be walking off the job. And John, that includes, you know, early childhood educators. It includes, you know, administrative assistants and custodians. Uh, and, you know, so we'll just have to wait and see. Right now, as you know, I mentioned earlier, QP, they've, you know, presented a counter offer and now it's uh, the government's turn to, to consider it. Ithel, thanks for this. Ithel Musa. Live in Toronto.